to free. Hi everybody, it's Learn123 again. Today, let's talk about jamming problems on the Remington 870 and how to fix them. So let's talk about some of the tools you will need to polish your chamber, which is what we're going to do. An emery board, maybe a Dremel tool with some polishing wheels, and one of these gun cleaning kit rods to tap the old shell out, or a wooden dowel preferably and maybe a, a hammer, but usually just a, a light pat with the hand can get the stuck shell out. Has your shotgun ever done this to you? Have you ever had it do this to you? Where that shell gets stuck in there. Today we're going to talk about fixing that. The type of ammo that was jamming in this is Winchester. Federal ammunition was functioning just fine. So as you can see that shell stuck in the chamber. All we're going to do is use a wooden dowel and a hammer and just tap that out from the muzzle end of the weapon this way and just get it out of there first. And then I'm going to show you how to prevent this type of a jam in the future. Now if you don't have a wooden dowel that fits in a pinch, you can also use the brass rods from a gun cleaning kit. And we're going to tap it out lightly. Comes right out. So let's take this barrel off. First we have to remove this nut that goes on the end of the magazine, the tube magazine here. You want to grab the barrel and put downward pressure on it to reduce the tension on this nut. And you also want to load weight on it as well when you're putting it back on. Now the barrel can be removed. So I've got this gouge here that I'm going to smooth out just a little bit. And then you can see these vertical lines here. We're going to smooth those out as well. If you feel with your finger right here at this spot, you will feel ridges that move in a cylindrical fashion and will grab on to the rim of those cases. So what we're going to do is polish those out. Let's start with our emery board. Feeling a bit smoother in there. And if hand tools are too slow for you, you could be very careful and do this with a Dremel tool as long as you don't get into here. Okay, stay out of there. If you're really brave and careful, you can use a sanding wheel. Now here's where you really want to look at and make sure there aren't any grooves that will get your fingernail stuck in them if you drag your fingernail across. Oh, you see those lines right there? That's what we're buffing out. Just smoothing all those rough edges out of there. I'm going to feel it. So now we're going to use our polishing wheel on the Dremel. Now I've got more buffing compound on my buffing wheel. That feels much better. Now you should be able to feel a difference in the ridges being gone where the, your fingernail doesn't catch on them anymore. And that means it's done. Now let's just clean any of that crud out of there. Now let's put it back together. So now we're going to put our barrel back on the gun. Line that up. Get those threads through. And remember, we're going to grab the barrel and put downward pressure on the barrel while we screw the barrel nut on. We're going to get it really, 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 really tight. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please use the comments section to tell me if you're having any problems. I would be happy to help. Thank you for watching. Now let's take this thing to the range and see if the modification works. First I want to say something to Hollywood. And just how in movies, for the dramatic effect of this noise, I mean, they talk about doing it, they get close to doing it, and they're always jacking around, and then they finally get to the fight, and wouldn't they be out of ammo by now? 
Sorry, I just had to say, Hollywood, get better firearms consultants, please.